everybody. So, um, this is the first time I've done a screen recording on Cross and Cool. But the reason for that is I'm going to show you how to 3D print a piece from your Minecraft world. And it's super easy to do. However, I do know how to download the app to do it. But I don't know how to download your server to be able to do it. Um, because servers, of course, aren't not in your private world. If you're using the app I'm using, you can only really download your private world. My dad figured out how to download the server so we could print it, but I don't know how he did it, so I won't be showing you that. But I will show you how to download Mindways, and then we are going to 3D print from it. So, that's fine. So what you're going to want to type in is Mindways. And you could do mine ways for Mac, because I have a Mac or whatever computer. And you're going to want to push on that. And you're going to want to push, um, you're just going to want to push that button right there. I'm not going to push it because I've already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead into my mine ways. going to open for me. And you can just push OK. Sometimes it will show this up. This doesn't matter. Just push OK. And this is what you are going to see. It's going to say mine always at the top like this. And then you're going to want to go push on file. And you're going to push. If you're doing your server and you've downloaded your server, you're going to want to push open. If you're downloading one of your private worlds, you're going to want to go here. These are all the private worlds. I'm going to push on open though, since I want my um, server. And you can only download a server if it is your the server, or you own the server. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to push on world, push on world here again. I'm going to push on level that. And it's just going to show this loading thing. And here will be your world. And it was, I'm going to go in full screen because that's just the easiest thing to do. So, I am going to find a piece of the world I want. So, I'm just going to find a random build. Okay, so now once you're on here and you find the build you want to do, I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to right click and drag to what I want to print. And that's what I want to print. And I'm just going to push yes here. And then I'm going to push file again and push export for 3D printing. Um, you're going to want to do an STL file and then you can name it. I'm going to do server for fortress and then save. I'm just going to push OK, because on your editing app, you can do all, or I mean, on your 3D printer editing app, you can do that all. And here's going to show you the cost it's going to do if you're going to send it to the Mindways app, which I don't have to do. If you do that, Mindways will 3D print it for you if you don't have a 3D printer. But you do have to pay. If you have your own printer, it's free. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to push yes. So now I'm going to go ahead and open for my printer I have a, the flash forge which is a really high quality printer I'd recommend it maybe a couple hundred dollars um I didn't buy it it was my grandpa's computer that he gave to me after he died so I don't know how expensive it is but anyway so what you're gonna want to push on is flash print if you have flash forge I'm gonna push on flash print I recommend flash print because there's so many options you can edit it like it's really custom to your style, so I definitely recommend Flash Print 5. It's a really good app. Um, no, do not want that. Oops. Yes, okay, get rid of those ads. And so this is what you'll see when you are on Flash Print. So you'll see that these are blurred out. That's because you need to put your model in first. So I'm going to go into my Finder. And if you have your server and you are on a Mac, you're going to want to go to desktop and then you're going to push on world, 
on your world or whatever the name of your server is, your server will be, that, that will be the name. And then you're going to want to push on world or whatever realm yours is in. I'm just going to find um, uh, the server fortress. There it is. Fortress STL. I'm going to double click on that and then it's going to show up here. And I'm going to do repair model and I'm going to push OK. And then you will get something like this. And it looks pretty cool. And yeah. So what you're going to want to do is adjust it to your size. I'm not going to have it this big because I would use way too much um, filament. But I am going to push scale. I'm going to press on these side bits and shrink it to the appropriate size. I'm going to do that size. Now you can also rotate it like this or like this or like this. Um, you can move it around your board. You can cut it in half if you want. You can duplicate it. You can lay it out where you want. You can add supports if you need that. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> and anyway, so what I'm going to do is rotate this like that. And I'm going to cut it so it doesn't use as much resin. I'll use the least amount I can possibly cut off without ruining the rest. Oh, whoops, sorry. Don't push on that. Don't push start slicing yet. Push start cut. And then you will get something like this, probably. And then I'm going to go ahead and I don't know how to delete things yet. <laughs> But I do know how to shrink things until they're out of existence and the printer just won't print it because they're too small. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm not the smartest person in the world. So there, that's the best I can do. Now, I'm going to rotate this back. Now, don't print it at this angle. One thing I forgot to mention is that never, ever, ever should you print something that's floating because the printer can't do that, of course, because gravity. And also, if it's got an overhang, it will start doing this thing where the resin doesn't fully want to, like, I don't know, both start dripping down. Um, and I haven't had that happen to me yet, because I print really small, and so there isn't much overhangs on my print, so it doesn't really matter for me. But if you are printing out something bigger, that's something you're going to want to think about. And then I'm going to push start slicing. And if you don't, so here, when it says raft, you're going to have like this board under your model, like a stand. If you want that, you can. I don't want that because I think it looks ugly. Um, so I'm going to push no. And if you want to get really advanced, which I don't know what any of these things do, don't ask me. Um, you can, but I'm just going to push slice because I'm basic. So, so once you have this, you're going to see that the top of your bar has these three. This is start slicing again if you want to do it. And then it's going to go slice preview, go local save. That's when you download it to your printer. Um, if you want to see what it's going to look like when it's printed, if you have a layered printer like I do, this is going to show you, if you have a resin printer, um, then there's not going to be layers. But since I have a um, layered printer, this is what mine's going to end up looking like in the end. There we go. Pretty neat. That just shows you that. So I thought that was really cool, so you can see what it's going to look like in the end. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to wait, because I, my printer is printing out another print, and then I'm going to go ahead and print it after the other print is done, because the other one is printing right now, and I don't want to interrupt it. And so, um, I'm going to come back to you guys when that one is done printing, so then I can do this one. 
and I'll just see you guys in a bit. Um, the other one was just done printing. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and print this. What you're gonna want to do is push on local save and then send that printer. You're gonna want to push on IP address. It should be automatically set up. So your printer, if your printer is also set up already, and it should connect automatically when you go connect machine. Push check because that's my printer, and I'm gonna push send G code, and it's gonna show the name, and you're just gonna push OK. Okay, and right now I can see on the screen of my printer that it's saying sending file, and then it's going to show printing, 0% because it just started, but it is now going to 3D print um, my fortress that I made in our server. So yeah, um, when it's done printing, I'll show you it um, on my camera, and yeah. Alright, so now my print is done. Here it is. I'm just gonna press it. Okay, since it is done. And now, I just take it out, and here it is. There was a tree, it sort of failed, so it got a little bit of swirly bits on it, but that's okay. I'll just take them off after. Anyway, it's done. Alright, guys, so I really hope you like this video. Um, here is my finished castle from. Uh, our server, and I really love how it turned out. It's super detailed. I love how it got drawbridge and every single detail. And it's so cool. Mine was just so awesome. It's so cool how you can build something in Minecraft and then actually have it 3D printed. And the fact that you can do that is just so cool. So I totally recommend you get Mineways. Everything is free. Um, except if you're asking my ways to print it for you. If you print it yourself though, Everything is free. It's totally free. It costs no money at all. And you can do something this cool. So yeah, I really recommend you guys get Mindways. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!